Scorpio, this reading is not a timeless reading. This is a reading for a specific group of Scorpios out there. I don't know who they are, but uh, I'm just getting the message out there. Once the message has been heard by all these Scorpios, then I'm guided to take down the video. So I think this will probably change in the coming week, but for now, these are not timeless readings. These are for right now or when you hear it, which should be probably in the next day or two. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want a reading, shoot me an email. All right, let's do this. All right, what do we got for Scorpio? All right, there might be a love offer coming in that you are not interested in or spirits guiding you to cut this out is what I'm feeling. Emperor could be from an Aries. Yeah, you feel like this is possibly a connection that can create a lot of uh, restrictions in your life. Death card Scorpio. I think you're trying to transform this situation out of your life. It might be some sort of cycle you've been stuck in. Yeah, nine of wands right there. I feel like um, <clears throat> my throat chakra is a little bit blocked right now. Uh, so you guys might need to do some work in your throat chakra too. So nine of wands. Uh, I feel like you guys see this, that you've been stuck in this cycle, but it's been really hard to get out of. Um, I feel like it's like a mental... Mental prison that you've been stuck in with somebody here. Maybe it's some sort of soul connection and you just can't sort of get this person out of your head. But you're trying really hard. Yeah, you're not accepting any offers right now with the Four of Cups. You're not satisfied by any of these offers coming your way. Yeah. Okay, so we got the Devil, Capricorn Energy, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're killing some sort of toxic cycle that you feel has been lingering around in your life. All right, what else we got here? Yeah, this is Five of Pentacles. So this could be um, something that's led to a lot of emotional poverty in your life. You've been resting, or you're being guided to rest. Uh, use your intuition here and just stay strong. I think you know what you're supposed to be doing. You're doing it, but it's really hard. And I'm speaking regarding like breaking a cycle and stuff. These things are really hard to do sometimes. Most of the time, they're hard to do. Yeah, you're walking away from this. You're completely unsatisfied with the way this has all turned out with the Eight of Cups here. You're, uh, I feel like you're bringing in... Well, I feel like Spirit's bringing in some sort of spiritual justice for you, but you're bringing in your own justice in the 3D. And that is you building a new foundation built off of integrity, honesty, no third parties. Um, maybe this is something that... Involved third parties. Let's see here. What else we got for Scorpio? Yeah, you're cutting this out of your life with the King of Swords. Who's this person that Scorpio's dealing with? Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah, there might not be any communication between you guys right now. I feel like Scorpio, you might be blocking it energetically, and they're kind of feeling this. And they're just, yeah, they're wanting to come in with some sort of small offer, but I don't feel like it's going to be good enough. You're just concentrating on work right now. You might have a lot of people, like, the evil eye on you right now, I feel. There's a lot of people just wanting you to fail. Or it might be this person. Or take it as it fits, but it could be, this could all be reversed. Okay, this person could be a Gemini or have Gemini on a chart with the Lover's card there. Feels something like something toxic here. Like I feel like this person. Yeah, you need to use your intuition. The High Priestess. Yeah, I think there's going to be information coming in pretty soon from this person, whoever it is. We got the Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like this is Spirit saying that they're kind of giving you the green light to go, hey, you can pick whatever you want, but just choose wisely because we don't want you to go down that path you've been down before. But I feel like Spirit does have your back and they will be there for you, whatever choice you make, because you've done so much work on yourself on a soul level that they got your back. But there's only so many signs they can give you to point you in the right direction. And I feel like 
at the core of you, you know which way you have to go. But you're still kind of stuck in the cycle here. It's like real hard to break out of. Yeah, you're trying to manifest your, your way out of this. It's like it's really hard. Why is it so hard to break this cycle, Spirit? Spirit, why is it so hard to break this cycle with this person? Page of Swords. You can't get them out of your head. Either they're like got an eye on you, you've got an eye on them. Um, looking at social media accounts, stuff like this. I feel like this might be one of the things that's keeping that energy lingering around. So you might want to address that or this is the other person you're dealing with. Four of Wands. Okay, I feel like this is you having victory with spirit once this cycle is over with this person. All right, what else we got, spirit? What else we got here? Ooh. King of Wands. I feel like you just need to really... I feel like you really need to just kind of like get into your masculine energy here, Scorpio. Scorpios are feminine energy, whether you're male or female, but um, so it's like we show up to the party and we're mostly coming from an emotional level. Whereas like fire signs, they're very like passion driven and all about action. So I feel like what this is saying is spirits telling you to harness that fire energy inside of you and really get kind of, um, I don't know, get a hold of things. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say here is just get a little more passion behind actually breaking this cycle. Maybe it's, you're really close, but you just need like a final push. But there's a couple of small details you need to look at, which maybe you're not seeing. What else we got for Scorpio? Spirit? Spirit, what else we got for Scorpio? Six of Cups. This person I feel like you're dealing with could possibly be a twin flame or soulmate or past life soulmate. Um, and that might be why you're stuck in this thing. Like you feel like maybe uh, you owe something to the connection. Um, or maybe this is how they're coming at you. Like, no, we're this and we're that. We need to be together. I get all that. But at the end of the day, if someone is treating you like crap... This doesn't matter. Soulmate, twin flame, none of this, it matters. None of it doesn't matter. <laughs> I can't even speak. None of this matters, okay? It's all about how you're being treated. Um, your self-worth, all these things. You shouldn't have to sacrifice any of this stuff. So, all right, let's keep going here. What else we got here for Scorp? What else we got for Scorp? You're gonna have victory over this Scorpio. I feel like this is sort of, um, like I was guided today to do some readings just for a few signs. And I feel like this is, um, these are readings leading up to uh, uh, Monday, the 21st, which is when the Great Conjunction happens, uh, all that stuff. So, I feel like this is something that you're, you're probably going to be closing out in the next couple of days. And you know this. So, it's like a final message from Spirit to be like, you got this, you got this. You're about to close it out. Just a, just a, a little bit of, a little more of a push right here. Okay, let's go. Here. One more. One more for Scorpio, please. Okay, so we got the Five of Swords here. Yeah, I feel like this is you. Um, I feel like this is you, like, basically cutting off the cycle. Like, the war is won. Like, the, 
this is you letting down the other people that keep trying to get you stuck in these karmic cycles. Those people are like karmic cycles. And you've finally seen it. You've disarmed them and you're moving on. Okay, what advice do we have for Scorpio, please? You're disarming karmic cycles, Scorpio. Yeah. Okay, so we got judgment. So that's spirit stepping in, helping you out. And the tower. It's time to put an end to this. That's it. That's the end. Okay, so Monday, guys, we got a couple of days to close out some of these cycles and stuff. Um, you're almost there. Just uh, one last little push. Maybe do some meditation and, and uh, spend some time outside and really clear your thoughts as we go into Monday. Uh, and really, I see Monday as sort of like the, the beginning, really, of the next step in our lives. Uh, I also see it as kind of like the beginning, the actual beginning of the new year. But um, anyway, guys, thanks for that. I hope this helped, and um, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.